الحمد لله رب العالمين وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له هو يتولى الصالحين وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله الصادق الوعد الأمين اللهم صل وسلم وزد وبارك على هذا النبي المبارك وعلى آله وأصحابه وأتباعه إلى يوم الدين اللهم علمنا ما ينفعنا وانفعنا بما علمتنا وزدنا علما يا رب العالمين ربنا آتنا في الدنيا حسنة وفي الآخرة حسنة وقنا عذاب النار اللهم نور قلوبنا بأنوار معرفتك ومحبتك وخشيتك وذكرك يا رب العالمين أما بعد the believers at the last Friday in summer holiday school and school almost beginning start start in some places and yet next week and others so we should deliver some advices for our beloved children how to deal with that new academic year the first wasiya the first advice for our kids to carry in your heart the meaning of taqwa taqwa allah tabaraka wa ta'ala advice of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for mankind Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala advise humanity all humanity saying Jalla wa ala Ya ayuha al-nasu attaqwa rabbakum O mankind fear your Lord who created you so the best advice the best nasiha for our children our beloved kids to have taqwa and the taqwa means to make between you and haram barrier think about that taqwa means to put between you and haram anything haram barrier prevention don't drop in or even come close to haram and haram is clear halal is clear and there is gray area between them so protect your deen, protect your record with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, protect yourself from the anger of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and bless your study, your future, your parents, your ummah by taqwa Allah tabaraka wa ta'ala. So in short meaning for taqwa to be put between you and haram, barrier, prevention, don't come to haram. Don't come to haram. Allah Jalla wa Ala saying, Subhanahu wa Ta'ala, Ya yuhan nasu taqu rabbakum inna zalzalata sa'ati shay'un azim. O mankind, fear your Lord. Indeed, the zalzala, the huge earthquake, the final hour is a terrible thing. So fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and fear meeting Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And don't be deceived by dunya. Youth, power, strong. So think enjoyment, think pleasure, and some don't care about halal and haram. No, Muslim not like that. Muslim care about halal and haram. What's halal? Enjoy. Enjoy yourself, no problem. It's halal. But haram, don't draw close or drop in haram. Taqwa Allah Jalla wa Ala guarantee for blessing knowledge. And a special knowledge comes from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for these who exercise the meaning of taqwa. Wa taqwa Allah wa yu'allimukum Allah. Allahu Akbar. The knowledge we receive two levels. We can say two types. Knowledge you earn by studying 
hard, struggle hard in your school, in your degree, to have this knowledge in all fields of knowledge, chemistry, physics, mathematics, Quran, Sunnah, Tafsir, whatever, Shari or Dunyawi, struggle hard to earn knowledge. And there is another type of knowledge which comes from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Blessed by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala put in the heart of muttaqin, righteous people. So whoever exercises taqwa, whoever exercises taqwa, exercises taqwa in his speech and his actions, act taqwa, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless his heart, his spirit, his mind by special knowledge. Ilm ladunni. Called ilm ladunni. Special knowledge. Special knowledge. Come by inspiration. Come, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala put in the heart of muttaqi. So exercise taqwa, the first nasiha. Dear kids, when you start your academic year, remember that taqwa Allah tabaraka wa ta'ala. Allah jalla wa ala. Praise those who exercise taqwa and advised all by a Z to have Z to have sublime in this life and next life and the best supply is at taqwa وَتَزَوَّدُوا فَإِنَّ خَيْرَ الزَّادِ التَّقْوَى وَتَزَوَّدُوا when you are in journey you take your sublime right when you are in journey you take your supplies money clothing food, whatever you take to support yourself during this trip or journey. We are in a trip. We are in this life and journey. And this journey continues after death. And the best supply in this life in dunya and next life, which is at taqwa And take provision. But indeed, the best provision, zad, is fear of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah jalla wa And fear me, or you of understanding. Another advice, the believers, parents, and children concerning a niya, any action, any action you have in this life has niya. And should all niya come to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, even your you know special life, special issues like food, like sleeping, like <coughs> everything should has niya should have niya and the sound niya and the best niya should come to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala qala rabbuna jalla wa ala wa ma umiru illa liya'budu allaha mukhlusina lahu ad-deena hunafa'a and they are not commanded except to worship Allah being sincere to him in religion so when you start your academic year, you start by niya. I seek knowledge for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I seek knowledge, study hard, stay that time in school, seven hours, eight hours, exercise your you know, day in school and put your niya for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You're gonna see a different, different blessing come to you. Tawfiq, support help from Allah, special tawfiq, special support come from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to the person who stayed that in his or her heart. That I study for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And we should learn that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will ask us about our aqwal, speech, our af'al, actions, and our niya because the niya is the foundation for the amal you may do salah it's a righteous deed very best deed but your niya may be for the sake of people maybe your niya for for different issue so allah subhanahu wa ta'ala watch what you intend what your intention what your heart inside your heart so from that, we have to adjust and correct our nawai, our actions, our intentions, our niya for everything, review before, during and after. And the scholars mentioned that. 
review your knee before starting any amal, any action and during because shaitan will not leave you shaitan come and try to destroy this knee and make it for riya for sum'a for anything else except allah subhanahu wa ta'ala shaitan will whisper and make your heart change to be has these issues so review before during and after even after you've done the amal will be for the sake of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala you've done it perfectly but still shaitan come even after you finish and whisper at your deed for example you do salah make ijtihad struggle strive hard to make for the sake of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and you watch and concern yourself before your niya is perfect during your niya is perfect but after you finish shaitan come and tell you in your ears whisper see how people admire you man and you look at that yourself oh now you destroy your amal even after you're done it's it's something serious it's very dangerous very dangerous we are in a big struggle in a big war with shaitan satans so we have to be cautious and concerned so much about that issue before during after and seek help make dua that allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make it easy for you to have ikhlas to have ikhlas for allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so dear believers parents and children niya adjust your knee and make it for the sake of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and know that every muslim in anywhere is a da'iyah represent islam represent the ummah especially in this environment non-muslim environment so everybody know this you are is muslim so every action every word everything you do they look at you and islam think about that think about that deeply please for youth in college in high school in middle school everywhere so when you act when you speech remember that you are muslim and represent islam you are like ambassador for prophet muhammad والسلام, in your place so the ambassador should represent his country his own his nation perfectly otherwise get out of this ummah this nation or this job so every muslim represent a rasul alayhi salatu wassalam and a da'iyah by his actions by his behaviors al-akhlaq al-sulukiyat al-mu'amalat treatments and behaviors so when you act remember that Remember that when you speak and we see mashallah Muslims around this environment, they are advanced, mashallah. Over majority of Muslims, alhamdulillah, they are advanced in all fields of life. So put your target to be advanced in your school. Get high degree in everything, in every time, in every subject. Till take your PhD and be advanced in the society after that. And look at the examples of Muslims around you and take them as example and follow their steps to earn that. Before that, after that, your niya for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So know you are represent Islam in your school. So take care and be careful when you speak, when you act to represent Prophet Muhammad alayhi salatu wasalam and Al-Quran al azim and Al-Islam. Know the believers and uh, children that talabul ilm, seeking knowledge, is ibadah in Islam. Is ta'a lillahi tabaraka wa ta'ala. Worship, obedience to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The first word, you know that, the first word ever revealed in Quran, read, iqra. So we are ummah of iqra, read. We are a nation of reading. Reading. Read, O Muhammad, by the name of the Lord who created. So read, Ummat Iqra should be advanced in that field, in knowledge field. So we are Umma of Iqra, the first word. And the last words, the last statement revealed in Quran, 
واتقوا يوما ترجعون فيه إلى الله ثم توفى كل نفس ما كسبت وهم لا يظلمون. And fear a day, your judgment. And fear a day when you will be returned to Allah. Then every soul will be compensated for what is earned, and they will not be treated unjustly. So remember that at the beginning, at the end. At the beginning, you are a Muslim, should exercise Islam, represent Islam perfectly in your school, and fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and know that one day when I return to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and ask you about every single action and word you did in this life. Talabul ilm min al mahdi ila al lahd. Seeking knowledge, ibadah, worshiping, obedience, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So you are as if you are in mihrab, when you are in his classroom. With your teacher teach you mathematics, science, English, whatever you learn, you are like the person in mihrab doing salah. Doing salah by that condition, which is taqwa Allah tabaraka wa ta'ala. Taqwa Allah azza wa jal. To fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and have niyyah in your heart that you do that for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So any minute you stay in your classroom as if you are in your mihrab in your masjid. Remember that and think about that. They're going to change your life academically. Change your mind when you sit down in a classroom and study. You are in ibadah. Whatever you study. You are in ibadah. Ta'a lillahi tabaraka wa ta'ala. Worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Obey Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Rabbuna jalla wa ala. Appreciate and get these people who seek knowledge. Outstanding now. People among humanity. Saying jalla wa ala. يرفع الله الذين آمنوا منكم والذين أوتوا العلم درجات. أن الله رئيس those who have believed among you and those who were given knowledge by degrees. The degrees in dunya and آخرة in جنة. In dunya among people to see how humanities deal with people of knowledge. How the people deal. The Ummah, the nations in general, Muslim or non-Muslim, deal with these ulama, scholars, scientists. وَرَبُّنَا جَلَّ وَعَلَى Saying, إِنَّمَا يَخْشَ اللَّهَ مِنْ عِبَادِهِ الْعُلَمَاءُ إِنَّ اللَّهَ عَزِيزٌ غَفُورٌ Only those who, only those fear Allah from among His servants who have knowledge. Indeed, Allah is exalted and might and forgiven. Because people of knowledge, they know the truth or some about the truth about that universe, the globe, how we are in that universe. Very, very tiny issue. The earth, all the earth beside the sun and earth the sun beside the galaxy Milky Way and all that beside the other galaxies and all that beside the second, the third, the third, the fourth, beside the Arsh. Beside Al Kursi, beside Khalqillah Jalla Ala, we are nothing in that. How knowledge indicate that? Knowledge that humanity now reached to some drop of knowledge about heavens, about the skies. So that indicates to how. However, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala appreciate and honor this who see knowledge for the sake of Him Jalla Ala. النبي الأكرم صلوات ربي وسلامه عليه فيما صح عنه فيما رواه أبو هريرة رضي الله عنه قال من سلك طريقا يلتمس فيه علما سهل الله له طريقا إلى الجنة الله أكبر that's enough if the person won a jannah and all of us our beloved kids love to be in jannah so this hadith indicates that if you Take away for seeking knowledge. Seeking knowledge for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah will make it easy for you to enter Jannah. Allah. Remember that. Remember that. If you take your study for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and make it as a salah, a prayer, an ibadah, remember this is make it easy for you to enter Jannah. Your believers, 
we should learn that Muslim carry the akhlaq of Islam. And among these akhlaq, morals of Islam, to respect others. And the best people you should respect, your parents, and then your teachers. Whoever doesn't respect teacher, that has something in his iman, in his faith. Because this is the minimum instructions of Quran and Sunnah, to respect your teacher. Look at uh, Musa alayhi salam, wal Khidr alayhi salam. Musa is a prophet, messenger. Allah talked to him. Alayhi salatu was salam, Sayyidina Musa. And Khidr is between righteous man or prophet. As Kalan mentioned prophet, some say not prophet, just a righteous man. But Musa traveled miles, miles to seek knowledge, special knowledge with him. Subhanallah. And very high educated manner when he deal with him. Musa with Al-Khidr. Look at the story in Surah Al-Kahf and learn from it how the dealing between students and teachers. So as a Muslim, you have two. It must to respect your teacher, not by law, by akhlaq al-Islam, by akhlaq al-Islam, the manners of Islam, education, high educated manner in Islam. The believers, أقول قول هذا إن كان من توفيق فمن الله وحده وإن كان من خلل ونقص فمني ومن الشيطان فأستغفر الله استغفروه إنه هو الغفور الرحيم. الحمد لله رب العالمين وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله اللهم صل وسلم وزد وبارك على هذا النبي المبارك وعلى آله وأصحابه وأتباعه ليوم الدين اللهم علمنا ما ينفعنا وانفعنا بما علمتنا وزدنا علما يا رب العالمين أما بعد please move forward to make space for others who come no I see here, please, please, mashallah, it's empty, so please move forward. Jazakum lau khair. Move forward. Jazakum lau khair. Move, please. Believers, our beloved kids, in the starting of your academic year, learn that you have to make, as we mentioned, taqwa, niya, good niya for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Learn that ilm is ibad in light tabaraka wa ta'ala and respect your teacher this part of your manner as a muslim also make quran every day make duty duty from the quran homework from the quran every day take one page with understanding please not just only read no read and understand this is a message allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent to you to everybody so you have to understand the message that allah sent to you so read one page with the meaning Read one page with the meaning. You're going to have different in your faith. Because you understand the message. Just only reading to take the barakah, that's okay. But it's not enough. It's not enough. You should understand the meaning for the Quran. Learn that a Muslim, the Muslim, the believer is distinguished by his faith. Alhamdulillah, we carry the, the sound faith. The perfect faith, the perfect faith, Al-Islam, that Allah sent to all prophets from Adam alayhi salam to Moses to uh, Jesus to Muhammad alayhi jami'an as salatu was salam. So this is the only faith that Allah sent to mankind, Al-Islam. Inna ad-deena inda Allah islam Indeed, the only religion that Allah sent to mankind, Al-Islam. Islam doesn't come with Muhammad as a salam. No, Sayyidina Muhammad, just the final messenger, the final prophet, but all prophet came to worship Allah alone. Not Trinity, no. This is what we see. All that human made, all that we, thousands of religions we see from East and West, all that human hand, human meat. History, read about that. The only religion, Al-Islam, that Allah sent to mankind. Tawheed Allah Tabaraka wa ta'ala wa attiba' al-anbiya' jami'an 
to follow all the steps of the prophets from Adam to Muhammad So you are distinguishing the faith, so be distinguished in your classroom. Is a point. Be distinguished. Advance it in your classroom. Learn that al ilm nur, the knowledge is light, come from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And that light doesn't come for disobedient Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So learn that. Because we mentioned that two levels of knowledge. This knowledge of kasb, al ilm al kasbi, that you earn it by your struggle, your striving. But there is another knowledge that comes to the heart by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala directly. Allah put it in the heart of muttaqeen. We learn that. And should have optimized. Should have optimized with the new academic year. Optimize in your heart that you will be super excellent, inshallah, in that academic year. And achieve by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the highest degree. And take this wasaya and exercise it. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala at the end of that reminder, the time is off. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, mihim jalla wa ala, bless our kids, ameen ya rabbil alameen, and give them support and hidayah, ameen ya rabbil alameen. Who Allah guide our children, Ameen Ya Rabbil Alameen. Who Allah guide our all children, Ameen Ya Rabbil Alameen. And let them adhere with Islam and Muslim community, Ameen Ya Rabbil Alameen. Who Allah guide us, who Allah pardon us, who Allah forgive us, who Allah bless us, who Allah save us from the evil. Who Allah increase in our risk, Halal Tayyib Ya Rabbil Alameen. Who Allah bless, protect and guide our children. Wallah light our heart, soul, and spirit by the light of Quran and Sunnah. Ameen, Ya Rabbil Alameen. Wallah light the graves of Muslims did and open a gate from paradise in it. Wallah make our graves place of paradise. Wallah grant us your mercy, forgiveness, pardoning, and blessings. Wallah grant us peace, tranquility, and protection from devils. Ameen, Ya Rabbil Alameen. وصلي اللهم وسلم وبارك على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين وأقم الصلاة